Hello again, everybody. Uh, this is going to be the second part of my Resident Evil Code Veronica X playthrough. And hopefully, this goes smoothly because I actually shot this video a couple days ago and did not realize that my recording software had malfunctioned. And that sucked. So, I'm gonna see if I can do it again for you. And hopefully things go better than the last time I was playing because I was getting pretty fucked up. Not gonna lie. Although it was nice to have a little refresher on the second half of this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, and the assault rifle that's in that locker over there, that thing's a piece of shit. That's probably like my least favorite weapon. Out of like, I don't know, all the Resident Evils. I don't know what it is about that gun, like, it just, it sucks in general. Makes me mad because like, it has no, it has no stopping power really. Uh, the ammo on it's like pretty scarce, and well, you do get like an additional. Uh, I guess we put that on here. You do get like an additional 50% um, ammo reload for it uh, when you're playing as Chris, and um, I'm just getting the shit bit out of me. <laughs> but honestly the gun's not really worth it because like you go through ammo so fast with it and it fires like so slow I just I refuse I'm not picking it up again and the bur and the worst part about it is that you freaking have the wall well, if you have the gun it takes two slots of your inventory up it's like who wants that and yeah I didn't mean to read that twice uh, if you don't do that now, unfortunately you have to come back and do it again. Because you'll end up doing a puzzle later where you have to shut off the gas. And if you don't read that description, like, that time through, then you have to go back into the room and do it later. And the reason you have to do that is because it tells you that it's if I was paying attention. Jesus, get off me. Those damn dogs are gonna kill me. But yeah, it's just a pain, like I I just I just wanna be like Claire. Don't shouldn't you know this? Like why do I have to read it? Shouldn't there be like a diagram, or shouldn't there be like a handbook around here that's like, this is the si this is the exact size and measurements that you will need for your valve handle whenever you need to do this. I thought there was another herb here. Maybe? Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's two. How generous of them. I'll leave those herbs like it is.
someone's job right now. Someone didn't sort those boxes before they got bit by a zombie. I know where I need to go, but I, I'm gonna say I don't want to forget this mask. And you might as well not even kill these zombies here, because they all they uh they spawn them back. Uh, whenever you're going through this that section of like the rooms one last time. Oh, are you serious? Oh, you fucker. God, I hate those moss. I swear to God, I hate those moss. <laughs> Poison sons of bitches. Do I have one in my chest, maybe? Of course not. Nah. Of course. No blue over there. Fucking hate these moths. I don't care. You can fucking spread your poor pollen. I don't care. Alright, but don't do that shit now. Alright. Get some inventory space here. Uh, let's see. I guess I can, uh, I can drop that off, probably drop that off, and definitely drop this off. And then I keep that stuff. That should be fine. You definitely, you definitely do not want to go into this next portion of the game with, like, all of your ammo on Claire. Well, actually, you can. It's not, like, a huge deal. Because you get you get substantial amounts of ammo when you're playing as Chris. You get, like, the... Uh, we definitely get the shotgun, which is awesome. Uh, you get his handgun, which isn't too bad. And plus, I think you also can... Yeah, you get the uh, submachine gun. That guy's a dick. Yeah, you're a dick. You know it. You know you're a dick. Oh, I guess I can't say too much because he's not really, like, the hardest enemy. Actually, he's probably, like... I already did that. You have to forgive me. I'm actually a slight bit tired. Working my night shift and staying up. But, um... Ah, oh, why didn't you go up the stairs, Claire? God. It's not like I'm asking you to jump through hoops. Just climb the stairs. Still on my back? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that shit. Pretty sure that still works. If you go through two different rooms, it'll disappear. Or not. Alright, well, we're just gonna pray that it doesn't poison me. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be furious if it does. That's good. But, um, yeah. The, uh, the boss I was talking about, his name's Nosferatu. And he's actually not a very hard boss, if you know what you're doing. But just because of the location you fight him in, uh, he's not exactly, like... Eh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's not exactly, like the strongest boss, but because of the where his location is, he's definitely one of the more deadly bosses. Being that you fight him on a helipad. But all in all, I mean you can actually kill him uh relatively easy if you have the knife with you. But I'm not gonna be doing that shit because God, I'll die. I've done it before, but I, 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 I'm not risking it. Claire, 
Steve. Yes, Steve. Thank you for hitting that pipe. I appreciate that. That that really helped me. That helped me out. I know that my ass is awesome, but come on, man. There's a blue herb there. I guess we could have got that one, but it might actually be worth it to even take it. Yeah, I'll take it. What the hell? I normally don't, but I'm not feeling particularly lucky, so I'll take it. And yeah, if you didn't read that sign back in the uh, drill room where it said it was an oct or octagonal hole, this is the part where it's like, I don't know what uh, specification to shave it to. And that's annoying. That's pretty annoying. And the best part is you actually end up reusing this as Chris later. And not only do you use it uh, as the eight-sided valve, but you also use it as a four or a square valve as well, because you find an attachment that fits right on it. It's like, seriously, why, why got, why do you, why do you guys go so far out of the way to have like these crazy ass like, I don't know, non-specific tools or, or specific tools, I guess I should say. Like, why can't you just have little little ratchet set. These moths. God. They actually added another zombie. Two. Oh, wait, I need to go up those stairs. Oh, you bastards. Alright, zombie, pick a side. Thank you. I'm just gonna sneak behind you. You son of a bitch. I like how that big drill machine, like, I, I love how it's just in this room. It, it, I don't know even how they would have got it in here. I mean, yeah, I guess they could have lowered it in from, like, above, because you don't really see, like, if this is open. But still, I, I, that just doesn't make sense to me. Claire! What are you doing? Let's go! Oh, don't worry, Steve. I'm only going to be saving your life here. Are you ready? In about, like, you know, a minute. Okay, let's go! Thanks for failing me, Steve. You did a wonderful job there. Now, I probably won't be able to get the, uh... A good heart shot. I'll try. Oh, I really don't want to get poisoned. If I can try not to, I will. I would prefer not to get poisoned. Though. Why 
why I brought this for backup just to be safe. I guess I could have brought time. Oh, I'm gonna get poisoned. Yeah? Yeah, not yet. You're stronger than I remember. Then again, I guess I could be getting closer to you. Effective. I get poison on that? Oh, nice. That's excellent. So, yeah, I didn't get the cool cutscene when I shoot him in the, the heart with my sniper rifle, but that's alright. No big deal on that. I didn't expect hey, to find another button. living person How left on the assignment. Who are you? hate to see that you just got ate by that worm. But good news for you, I'm actually going to save you. Kind of. Mm. Yeah, probably our best bet to use this. That's a little, he's right in front of you. Come on, Chris. Jeez, man. Thank you, Rodrigo. You've served me well. Not really. Herbs here. One's a green and one's a blue. Honestly, I'm not even going to worry about my handgun, because it's not worth it. I don't even, honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. Because by that time I'll have the shotgun and plenty of ammo. Now if I didn't get the submachine guns, and by that extension if I didn't get the lighter, and by that extension I didn't get the lock, pick, and square, uh, then yeah, I'd have to probably take my handgun with me for now, but we've got some submachine guns, so we're in pretty good shape. This will get me through most of the mansion. Or not mansion, but uh, military training facility, rather. Alfred, you didn't fail me completely. At least you have an elevator here. That was nice. But see, this elevator was strictly for you, so that still makes you a dick. Oh, that was close. That was a little close. Just gonna move your toy tank. Don't worry about anything, Alfred. Well, actually, what? Are you dead? Yeah, you're already dead. You don't care. You don't care if I use your tank. Oh no, it's in this corner, so yeah. 
This will come in handy here in a little bit. Don't want to quite grab the battery yet. Don't want to trigger those asshole spiders just quite yet. And honestly, I'm not even going to grab any uh, of this grenade launcher ammo. There's no point to. Because one, Claire has the grenade launcher, and two, even if I could use it, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Nothing else I need in there, so... Well, no, I'm just, I meant to actually put one of these, uh... Or the first aid spray in there, because I don't think I'm going to need it right now. Probably gonna need it here in a little bit though when I take on Hunter City. When I take on Honey and the Blowfish. You guys are so freaking ugly. At least you're easy to dodge. Well, kind of. Sometimes they'll just stand like right in your way, and it's like, I swear to god, there's like invisible walls around their legs because I swear I've gotten stuck on them, and there's like nothing in front of me from the side. It's like, no, this spider's gonna hold you up a little bit. It's like, oh, that's great. I'm not even gonna mess with you. I'm actually going to make sure you're dead. Because I think you're going to give me a problem later. No, probably not. Actually, I don't think I'll ever walk past, walk past you again. That's alright though. Alexia, let that song go. Alexia? No. Wesker, you... I don't even want to hear from you, Wesker. Frickin' dick. Alright. Uh, yeah, I actually do need to go down this way first. I really can't go anywhere else until I uh, explore the uh, little laboratory type area that you can't access as player. But I'm assuming Wesker was nice enough to let me through here by putting the shotgun on the uh, rack there. But you might as well not take it, because you're going to have to go right back the other way. So there's no point to even have it right now. And whatever you do, do not grab that doorknob on the ground in that room. Or at least don't grab it until after you've gone through here. Because if you do, whenever you go to pick up the chemical in here, you get a nasty poisonous hunter surprise. And we, we don't like poison hunters. We don't like sweepers. I don't like hunters in general. <laughs> They're just bad news. Unfortunately though, you can't avoid the hunters in this room. 
because Wesker is just just such a kind and lovable guy. He's got cameras everywhere. I feel like I'm on a reality TV show or something. Don't you worry. Surprisingly, those work, or the submachine guns actually work pretty well on those guys. Well, kinda. I mean, that was pretty good. I didn't take any damage from two of them in the same room, but... It only works really well on them if you have concentrated fire from both guns. Otherwise, you should really have the shotgun at that point. Or the grenade launcher with uh, acid rounds. I think acid. I think one acid round will actually take one down, in one shot. I think. I know that acid rounds are the most effective against them, but I can't remember if it's one or two shots. And I definitely did not mean to click that. up to the second floor. Nah, you just gotta take some. Look at that, you see him? Little bastard tried to grab my leg. Like, I was just here. Where'd you guys come from? Like, a magic wall or something? Yes. That's all we need. It's right there. That's exactly what we need. But yeah, just go ahead and fall down into, like, you know, the nasty-ass crevice of this whole freaking place. Oh, that's right. Forgot the floor is completely broken. Of course it's never easy. It's never easy. And actually, by not coming here first, there's no zombies in here, which is excellent. Not that I'm a big fan of the cameras, but... And I think I'm actually going to take one of those. Or take a slot of those uh, arrows, because if I don't have like some bolts to mix with the uh, powder I'm going to get here shortly, then... I don't know, like, where else... Well, I know there's more places to pick it up, but if I get it now, I don't have to worry about it later. Yes, I will take the miniature tank. It's too bad you couldn't go for the ultra-realism, Alfred, and make it, like fire marshmallows or something. A little baby dart arrows or something like that. And I do like how even though they recycled the area like between uh, Claire and Chris, since Claire, or, uh, Chris is kind of re-exploring the same area. Because it got destroyed, there actually is kind of like rooms that are sealed off and other rooms that are open from like destroyed walls, and I think that's pretty neat. It's pretty interesting the way they did that. Alright. Ah, oh, fuck me. Well, for me, we'll deal with that asshole on the way out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I left this in here. Thank you, Claire. You might have saved my life here in a little bit.
and I remember the first time I played this game, I saw that, I saw that little freaking picture slide, and I saw those three holes, I said, son of a bitch, I need those fucking proofs again. That was depressing. Now, technically, I could take the shotgun now, but I won't. I'll leave it. I don't think I'm going to need it. As I'm decapitated by a hunter like five minutes from now. <laughs> yeah, you're a dick, Wesker. Yeah, we're definitely gonna heal on that one. Just because I'm facing hunters. You don't want to be on yellow caution when you're up against hunters. They're, they're cheap shotting little bitches. And actually, I don't know, I think... I can't remember if uh, the original Japanese version um, has decapitations. Probably does. I'd imagine. But I guess they change it in every version afterwards between like the original Code Veronica and then any version of Code Veronica X. So that the hunters don't, they can't decapitate you, but they can one shot you still. And I guess it's more of like uh, a throat slit type thing. I don't know, it sucks. It's kind of actually like really annoying when it happens because pretty much like you won't even expect it and they just jump and freaking slash you in the air. It sucks. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you're a dick. That was just a mini slash. That was a knee slash. That's, I hate that part. I hate coming into this elevator and I hate leaving this elevator. And when you go back up, they're replaced by two sweepers. And they fucking suck. I think if I had to uh, estimate how many times I've died on that part, out of all the times I've played, I'd say at least I've died three times there. And one of which being on one of my uh, uh, speed runs. Not speed runs, but uh, A rank runs or S rank runs. I don't know. I forget which. Uh, what's the best rank? It's either A or S. Something like that. And actually, while I'm here, up. Uh, it's not gonna work. I need to have the gun in my hand as well. There we go. And that should do it. You know what? No. No, I'm not even gonna kill you. You're just a waste of ammo. Well, that was dumb. Forgot that the bridge wouldn't be lowered yet. Nope. Sucks to be 
you. You can go slash that invisible freaking wall down there that apparently you don't realize is not me. It's not. Nope, I don't think I can do the puzzle until I try it. Of course, of course the bridge fails. That doesn't surprise me. It's a miracle that this place is still standing, to be honest. So now we're gonna do this most awesome puzzle here that if you don't know what the hell you're doing then you're gonna be really pissed off but the basic goal is to get the oil level to fill up to the red line which is seven on that big tank that says ten uh, except the one oil filter over there is kinda of busted so you have to use the three and five but you don't really know what you're doing until you've done it once and even then you might forget but pretty much the bottom tank only holds 10 gallons or I don't know 10 liters I don't know what the measurement is but you have to actually empty out uh, one of the three or I think you can do it with the five and three I think you could do what five and three five three be eight. You do five, three, and three. Oh, you'd have to do that twice though, because you'd have to get one and three, and then one and three, and then five. That'd be a pain in the ass. Nah, I just like doing three, 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 and three, which would be a total of twelve, but since it only holds ten, uh, it leaves you two in the three liter, and then you have the five, so. You just combine the five and the two, which was originally the three, and it gets you seven. Oh, I'm just gonna try to get down. No, you're not dead yet. Oh yeah, that's a jump shot, bitch. Sneak past you, maybe? Oh yeah, that's nice. It's like, how did these zombies get night vision goggles? Well, not only did how did they get them, but how they put them on? Zombies don't know how to put shit on. <laughs> yeah, just fall over. Just trip over your own lizard feet. That's how I like you. On the ground. You dick. And this is the best part, because you have to carry all these back over to the other room. So you better hope you have three inventory slots available. Oh, you have a bomb on your back. I didn't know you had that. You little suicide, are you? Oh! That was a that was a rough one. That was a bad knee shot. That just sounded painful. Still on fine though. I'm actually going to take one first aid spray with me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just in case things get ugly. Which they will. It's always ugly. As soon as you come out of this elevator, it's ugly. 
There's actually, there's really no good method to it. I don't even bother trying to kill them because I think I take more damage doing that than just running. I don't know, you just zigzag or something. Oh, that's a bad shot. Get in there. <laughs> oh god, I hope I'm not poisoned. And fuck me, I'm poisoned. That's awesome. Sweet. Alright. Thanks a lot. No. I'm trying to think where the next blue herb is. I know there's some down in the, uh... The little basement area with the, uh, spiders. Really? There we go. I'm not gonna worry about this poison though until I start dragging my foot. Then we should be worried. Oh no. Haha, <laughs> no, no, no. That's right. Fuck you. Fucking good first aid spray, then, is it? Uh, you were getting ready. You you were getting ready to suck one. Plate. Uh, yeah, be turned around. Don't be looking at me when I cross paths with you. Oh, you dick. Come on, zombie. You, you really are just gonna walk in a straight line that way? Thank God. Couldn't remember if they replaced that camera or not. <laughs> Gotta get past Alfred's major secret, like, laser barrier here. Why can't I just like stick a stick in there and like pry that shit down or something? It didn't look very hard. And if I remember correctly, there shouldn't be any in this part or this room. Pretty sure the blue herbs in the next room, so we're just gonna try and run past these guys. Which wasn't very hard, surprisingly. Okay, one of these should be a blue herb. 
Excellent. Alright. That thing just looks so fucking weird. It's all kinds of weird. Back away from it. Go over this way. I can't remember. I think you can knock me out, to be honest. Oh, yeah, that's a killer. That guy does a lot of damage with his electric. And it would help if you pick that shit up real fast, Chris. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, fuck you. had me. You almost had me. You had me at fangs. And now we can grab that shotgun. Because it's so conveniently placed next to a manhole. I think there's a convenient zombie in here somewhere. Technically, we could have grabbed it earlier and then just not went this way. But there is. Oh, uh, yeah, you're still alive. You're... Yeah, go ahead and just stand there. Oh wow, two red herbs. I forgot there was even herbs in here. That's awesome. Come on here, just combine these real fast. But yeah, if you don't use this manhole, you can actually just go back the way we originally came. If you just take the battery lift back down. And... I've I've done it that way multiple times. It just takes a little bit longer. So now I'm just gonna drop this off, I think. And I don't really need these. Yeah, I'm just gonna put those away so I've got the space. Make it easy on myself. Alright, what do I come out to? No, you know what? I am gonna take this. Because I know there's tentacles later on, and I'm not wasting shotgun bullets on that shit. me, Alfred. I'm just gonna borrow your jet. Fastest trip in the world right there. Faster than time travel. out of those. Actually, I didn't even think about it. I can still get that bow gun. Uh, or bow, uh... 
yeah, bow gun explosive ammo. Or explosive rounds, rather. Which I think I will. I think I'll take it now. Yeah, Chris, just, just watch him get up as you back away slowly from the only exit of the room. Good job. Well done, sir. The only good thing is the moss will not come out now. I can just run straight across. Damn it, I did it again. That pisses me off too. Like, why can't it be nice and just... Why can't it let me combine in the menu? Like, now I have to combine it in my menu. Can't combine it in the chest menu. It sucks. But, that's more than enough than we're going to need later, so, perfect. Worked out good. Going to combine. And we are set. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could have kicked that shit open. That doesn't look like very strong wood. I guess that same logic applies to, like, random wooden doors and stuff like that. I mean, you, even, like, especially the first Resident Evil, there's all those doors for the mansion, like, they're, I'm pretty sure you can just, you know, kick those open or some shit. You're, you're not gonna need a key. Like. <laughs> but it does make it more challenging. I mean, obviously the game wouldn't be very fun if you could just kick open every door. doing Chris come on dude you literally just saw like a gazillion zombies like if the zombies are making noises that's not good that's when you just get the hell out of there like why do you wait for him to come and freaking like bite you just run get the shit out of here and I ran right into that one hold on Zombies that can break out of ice. Come on. They'd have pulled an arm out doing that shit. Nope. Yeah, you just go back in that room. You go have some coffee. Sure, you come and get the case if you want magnum bullets. Actually, that was what I was thinking the case was when I grabbed it as Claire in the uh, palace earlier. I knew they were in a case, I just couldn't remember which one. Uh, you gotta avoid this shit. Oh, come on! Yeah, we're not risking that. Oh, you're just like the Terminator, aren't you? Fuck. Yeah, that one pisses me off. They give you, like, no reaction time whatsoever. 
I think there's maybe like one time I avoided that without actually setting off the camera. It's bullshit. Oh, you dick! Thought for sure I'd stun you. Ah, uh, huh. It's a quick turn for you, bitch. Well, I guess you could have poisoned me. That could have went a little bit worse. Didn't go good, but it could have went a little worse. I'm actually trying to think if I should heal now. I'm trying to think when I fight more hunters. Do I fight more hunters? Oh, I do. But do I fight any in random rooms? I want to say no. Well, I'll just use one. Drop off the case. And drop that off. I think that's all we need. Yeah, well definitely you definitely want to put the case inside the chest. And you definitely don't want to check the greener. You want to combine the greener. Yes, we want to mix. We would like to mix, yes please. But if you don't put the uh, case inside the uh, chest, then you don't get a chance to unlock it with Claire, because Claire's the one that has a lockpick, and you really only get one shot at unlocking that case. So. Oh yeah. Headshot city. Man, you guys were like having a party in here or something. At least they were nice enough to give us some herbs. Just in case, you know. Zombies might have mutilated us in there. I love this room. Classic throwback. And there's that stupid adapter. Yeah, I'll take the socket. Thank you, Tiger. You're about the only Tiger that gives me magnet bolts. Actually, you're the only Tiger that gives me magnet bolts. I've done this room so many times, and I think maybe once. Well, that, that is creepy though. That's just, that's too creepy. You don't need to share that with me. But I think there's only been one time when I've successfully navigated this room with bugs, and not gotten bit once. And I should have played the lottery that day because, like, uh, it's practically impossible. 
Although oh, the good thing is they don't really do any damage to you. I think like... I don't know, if I had to even guess, maybe like 5% total damage. I don't know, probably less than that even. Man, that's a slow entry. That is a slow ass entry right there. Okay, so it is the last two and the first two. A crown heart spade. And if you don't know how to do this puzzle, it sucks. You have to take that clue they gave you with the symbols and then you have to look at that cube that I just put in there, well the paperweight and you have to look on the opposite side of the cube to figure out what the actual symbol is Oops. yeah he's pretty dead I'm, I'm aware of that Chris he looks pretty fucking dead man There's actually another room down there. I think it's like a, I don't know, maybe like a little library or something. There's nothing important in there. There's like no key items, but I think there's maybe like some shotgun ammo or herbs or something. I don't know. There's like three or four zombies in there, so I, I'm not going in there. Might as well just turn the power off now. Well, it's a good thing I'm going back in here because I would have forgot the freaking extinguisher. I hate when I do that. Whenever you're going back up, well, make sure you go back up first. Do not go to the little palace area unless you have. How did I miss that shit? Do not go. <laughs> Do not go to the palace before you get the magnum. Otherwise, you are going to have a not so good time. And we will drop. To keep everything up. Because if you don't have the magnum and you go to the palace, you're going to have to fight Alexia without the magnum. And that's not fun. It's doable, but it's not fun. God forbid you're playing as Wesker in the fucking battle game and you don't get the goddamn Magnum out of the stupid slot machine. You're fucked. Just restart. Ah, uh, you fucker. Come on. Come on, don't fuck around. Jesus Christ. It's like you're walking down a runway or something. Where the hell are you? Wow. Longest. Where in the shit are you? Jesus. It's like the camera clearly saw me in this hallway, in that position. Jesus. That was a hell of a build up. But yeah, that fucking battle game. Battle game Wesker, man. And this is right about the time in the game when uh, you say, oh fuck, I left the extinguisher. Back in the safety box. Followed shortly after you 
being extremely pissed off and very upset at the game. Well, actually, no. The first time you play, you won't be upset because you don't really know what you're not getting. It's only after you find out what you're not getting you're really pissed off. <laughs> Which is the mag. I can't go out that door. It's not one way, that's not where we want to go. It's iced over anyways. And I stand by my statement. I'm not getting that assault rifle. It is garbage. It is not worth the space. Definitely want to be facing this way when you pick this up. Dead dick. And then I'm like, come on, Chris, just jump through that fucking windshield or that window. The hunter did it. You can do it. Don't make me ride that shit back down. You can step over that shit. Fucking cameras. Fucking cameras. Come on. You caught me on both ends. How are these cameras still working? Although I think they are nice enough to actually uh, get rid of them when we go back through. This guy is a big son of a bitch. And actually, I never fight him. I'm sure he takes a lot of damage. But he's really not worth it. For all the longer you're in this room, it's easier just to just skip them. Plus, actually, if he damages you, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Remember, did I turn the power off? No, I didn't. Son of a bitch. You don't have to turn the power off before you go there, but you save yourself a trip if you do. Because that's Tiger Statue. Son of a bitch. Actually, we are going to equip this now. Get that out of the way. Because I will forget to do that shit when we get inside. And there should be two more wings in this area. I think, what, one's over here? By the top. I know you're here. <laughs> I knew you were there. drop off those two jewels, but I don't have enough room. It. 
it's clear. Yes, it is clear. Be careful, Chris. Fuck up. And if you got poisoned as Claire, you would unfortunately be doing a little side quest as Chris, getting the serum. And that sucks. Alright, what do I need? Actually, I don't really need anything. I will need some bullets to get past these tentacles. But, before we forget, this is the only time when you get to unlock this. And then once you unlock it, make sure you put them back into the chest because, well, yeah, just put them in the chest. And we're also going to want to take... I don't want to take three, but I will take two. Perfect. I'll take those just in case things get ugly. But yeah, you're you're gonna need some healing items for this part, unless you're like amazing. Not that part. Well, you'll, you might need to heal for that part. I don't know. I know, I know I do. But the part with Steve. I think there's some kind of special way to do it to where you don't get damaged. I don't know. I've actually not witnessed it, so. Something about getting behind him and turning him around. I don't trust that shit. I'd fuck it up. Really, zombie? Don't make me kill you. And this puzzle is a son of a bitch. The best advice, make sure you're lined up roughly about to where that little circle is in the middle of that square platform. And then get back in there and grab that shit real fast after you put that down. It'll disarm afterwards, so... But, I've died there. I think twice. It sucks. It sucks a lot. You know, actually, I kind of screwed myself. Because now... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, yeah. Yeah, we're, no, we're not going to go back out. All right. Hopefully that first shot doesn't kill me. And it did. Nice. That was great. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to retry. That was fucking nice. I did not expect to have to use a healing item before I got there. It's a good thing this isn't an S, or a good thing I'm not going for an S rank, otherwise I'd be pretty fucking pissed off right now. Yes. I know what they are. So yeah, whenever you go in there, make sure you have at least two full healing items. And then you might want to take a third before you get there, because you want to make sure that you're at full health before you start that whole fucking ordeal. 
Fucking, I'll keep blue herb. Fucking Steve, man. Oh. Well, fuck me. Forgot that this shit was in here. This would have been nice to have. That is bullshit. Whoever fucking designed that room when they were making this game, I just want to go up to them and say, You fucking asshole. Trick. Bullshit. Good. Good for you. There's a handle. Yeah, I'm not trying to. Although I would probably more piss off if I was going for a uh, S run and I died on this part. Yeah, I would be thoroughly pissed. I should let you fucking die in that trap room, you son of a bitch. choice of uh, game design. Yeah, let me see you get bitch smacked. That'll make me feel better. Go! Yeah, that, that works. That's fine. And don't let this bitch get too close to you either. Oh, don't spit at me. Fuck out of here. Sometimes you'll actually encounter a glitch where, uh, not, it's not really a glitch per se, it's just kind of like the, um, I guess the hitboxes for hitting her, because if you fire too fast with the magnum bullets, uh, you actually won't register damage on her even though it'll hit her. And you will definitely want to make sure that she goes down in five and or six shots. Especially if you don't have extra ammo. No. This is definitely gotta be Alexia's idea. Alfred's not smart enough to do this shit. And by smart, I mean an asshole. Yeah, big surprise. Who'd have thought you'd still be alive? I'm just gonna waste these zombies. Mm -hmm. 
I've got the uh, crossbow with uh, explosive rounds for the uh, last fight, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to take my frustrations out on some zombies. Last little wing here. Gotta have all four wings. I think, yeah, those are just handgun bullets. I'm not even gonna worry about those. I suppose I could have got the tiger jewel eyes earlier and did that. It's okay, I think it should work out inventory wise. Glad that I don't have to use that freaking key on the other side. Uh, if I had to go all the way around, that would just be hell. I actually have some herbs over here. Well, I can't pick those up quite yet, can I? No, hell no, we're not gonna use them now. We're trying to use that shit. And this is basically the the same idea as the uh, palace back on the uh, Rockford Island. Music plate, music boxes. Although it, it does kind of not make sense that Chris would know about the secret passageway here because Claire and Steve were the ones who found it out in the uh, Rockford Island version. But 
I mean, obviously the player knows. That fucking song. It's not even a good song. I don't know why. I always expect there to be a banner snatch in this room. I don't know. Then I expected one to jump out that window. Or through that window, but that never happened. It's just kind of one of those feelings where it, it was actually almost anticlimactic. Because it didn't happen. And we are actually about less than five minutes away from the end of the game. Nah, don't cry over Steve. <laughs> Fuck Steve. Whoops. Yeah, something is caught inside, Chris. That's why I want you to open it. It's all serious. You know when music starts playing in the background, that's when shit's getting serious. It's about to go down. Just like you. The game is named Code Veronica. You know there's going to be a, a puzzle involving Veronica. It's, it's just that cliche, it has to happen. best weapon to use on that move on the second form. Yeah, hopefully this part doesn't give me a whole lot of difficulty. I'm oh, sorry. I swear, like, as many times as I've played this game, you don't want to get hit by the fire. That's, that's... Like, it doesn't matter how many times I've tried this, I'm pretty sure, like, I've never gotten this like on the first try. And you 
can't aim directly at her because she just swerves out of the way. You kind of have to fire like slightly to the left and to the right. ton of cutscenes. Like three. Well, maybe not three. Not if you're playing the, the self destruct room. system. Well actually there's another one there. Oh shit, there's another one there. There's more than three. Oh shit, there's another one there. There's a lot of cutscenes. And that's the uh, end of the game. Get this nice little Kodak moment. It's beautiful. Hey, I still got a B. I thought you didn't get anything higher than like a C if you retry. That's not bad, considering I was using first aid spurs. But, that's, uh, that's it, guys. So, um, Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.